It's Tuesday, people. I'm very hyper right now. I have lots of energy. Like Ashley, I recorded my costume portion of this on Friday. That's when my face was painted and I was in my costume. That'll be added at the end. Let me start with uh, my silver lining of the day. Oh, these glasses are driving me nuts. You're just gonna feel the glare. Anyways, um, sorry about the mess back there. It's my laundry that I haven't got to yet. My silver lining of the day. I'm so distracted and energetic. My silver lining for the third time that I've said this now is the fact that NaNoWriMo has started and I'm way behind. And so you may be asking yourself, Adam, how is that a silver lining? Because that sounds like it's a bad thing. But it's not because that means I can spend tonight writing, which I love to do. And I like to try. I'm really good at procrastinating, so the fact that I'm behind is actually good for me because it'll help me to catch up tonight. And these are driving me nuts, I'm just gonna take them off. No glasses, and I look really weird now, even though I normally don't wear glasses, but I got used to seeing myself in them for the few minutes I was recording. Anyways, that's my silver lining, the fact that I'm behind on NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo, that's right. I say it wrong, that I'm not the only one that says it wrong, but that's how I started saying it, and that's how I'm gonna continue saying it. What is this NaNoWriMo that we're talking about? Uh, Ashley explained it yesterday, but if you didn't watch her video, it's to write 50,000 words in 30 days, and I attempted it last year and I think the year before that, but I've failed miserably every year I tried. Third time's a charm, right? Also, while I'm on the topic, uh, you can go to my personal link. I will put a link to that in the doobly-doo, as John Green calls it. You can watch my daily updates. I'm going to do a daily vlog on my nano success or failure, whichever it is. Hopefully a success. Shoot, I forgot my challenge of the week, so... Uh, I'm just gonna improv it. I need to grab a sock or a tie and have it comment. I don't know. It kind of confused me when Andy challenged me, but I'm gonna give it a go. So let me grab a sock because I'm sure there's one right back there. This feels oddly like doing a puppet show and I'm not very good with puppets or coming up with funny stuff on a whim. Yeah, I don't even know what to say and where's my puppet? There he is. Andy, I'm off with this. Yeah, you're pretty awful. What? What? I fail. Can I take a strike? This sock thing was bad and I apologize, Andy. But I really don't even know what to say with it. I mean, what do you say to a sock? Why is my light turning orange now? This is crazy. Anyways, if you can't tell, yeah, I'm very hyper today. Maybe it's the fact that I just drank like over half of this Mountain Dew. Or that I've been working with fourth graders all week and I'm just their energy's rubbing off of me You'd think it'd be the other way around. I do feel kind of tired, but I'm oddly hyper Ashley, I wanted to comment on your videos from yesterday some of your comments I do have Tuesdays with Mari, but I haven't read it yet and I know that that's really dumb considering I said Mitch album has influenced my life um, And he has and I really want to read the book and I don't really have an excuse for why I haven't other than the fact that it's on my list of books to read and I just haven't got to it yet. And I have heard of that uh, lecture book that you mentioned and I want to read that as well. But this is not National Reading Month, it's National Writing Month. Uh, Viv, that was an interesting silent film. I don't think that art is one of your favorite things to do but I realize that you're pretty good at quick sketches and so that was fun to watch. Andy, uh, I know you're probably I think the only other foreign friend doing nano with me. And you tweeted that you have 10,000 words already and it's day two. What are you on? Are you... Well, share, please? That's great though, keep writing, even though you're crushing me. Maybe you can write some of my words for me when you're finished with your... What are you writing about? Please tell me this Friday, give me a sneak peek or something. Yeah, at the end, you guys are gonna wonder why this video is going from like blue to orange to red. My lighting is horrible. Throw in the glare from my glasses and we just have one big winner of a video today. Can you tell what I am? I'm kind of split half and half. <clears throat> kind of look like I don't have hair. Either that or I look like a deformed mutant. If I were an X-Men, Sam, which what would you name me since I know you like X-Men so much? And what powers would you give me if this were the way my face looked? So, um, with that, Sam, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good week, everyone. Keep writing, those of you who are nanoing. And that's all. Bye.
Welcome to Tuesday with the 5-4 and friends.